Welcome to problem 7 of the Computer Science 121 2013 Winter 2 practice final exam. So this is a predicate logic question and there's a bunch of introduction here. Let's go ahead and read through it. Much of Facebook's data is described as a graph, not the kind with x and y axes. This is actually a data structure in computer science, a graph, a way of, of organizing data, and it's really common now, especially with the amount of data out there like Facebook's that's easy to represent with a graph. So what's a graph? It's made up of nodes and edges that connect nodes together, and the edges express relationships between the nodes. By the way, you've seen a bunch of graphs. If you watched the previous screencast, or if you've worked with DFAs at all, this is a bunch of nodes with edges that connect them together. So this is a graph of a particular type. So we'll reason about a similar graph using the following definitions. N is the set of all nodes. T is the set containing friend, located in, likes, and owns. And it's the set of relationship types. Edge ABT means that node A has the relationship T with node B. A may have the likes relationship with B, while B does not have that relationship with A, so order matters. So A and B are nodes, and T is some type of relationship, like friend located in likes or owns. And edge ABT doesn't necessarily mean edge BAT. Person A means node A represents a person. Business A is a business. Location A is location. Okay. For convenience, we can use E for edge, P for person, B for business, and L for location. That'll make everything a lot shorter, except for these, friend, located in, likes, and owns. Uh, so you know what? I, I'm going to make short forms. We haven't used up F yet, have we? Okay. So this will be F for short. Short forms, and just so my marker sees that, short forms, okay, <clears throat> located in, we have used L, so I'll use, uh, I'll just use in for that, um, likes is pretty short already, owns is pretty short already, I'll just leave those the way they are, <laughs> okay. So, define the following predicates in predicate logic in terms of the predicates and sets given above. Okay, here we go. Locale L means L is a location and is not itself located in any other location. All right, uh, L is a location. L is a location. So, that takes care of that. And it is not located in any other location. So, it is not the case that it is located in some other location. So it is not the case that there is an L in the set of all, lo oh, I'm sorry, let's make that an L2, so it's not the same thing as the L we're already working with. Uh, it's not the case that there's an L2 in the set of all locations. We don't actually have a set of all locations, right? We have a set of all nodes. Mm, let's just find that here. So, yeah, we have a set of all nodes, and we do not have a set of all locations, but that's okay. Uh, we know how to restrict the domain of a quantifier. So we'll say it's in the set of all nodes, but this is an existential, to, so to restrict this to just the locations, uh, we're going to say L is a location, L2, that is, is a location, and whatever else we want to say. So this is restricting the domain of N to just the locations. Okay, and it is not itself located in any other location. So L is not located in L2. So how do we say located in? Located in is a type of relationship. So we're not going to have an edge from L to L2 uh, of that type. So it is not the case that there is an L2 such that L2 is the location and there's an edge that goes from L to L2 and is of the located in type. Okay, let's double check that. L is a location and it is not itself located in any other location. There's no location such that L is located in that location. Neighbors AB means nodes A and B are at the same locale. 
you may assume every node is in at most one locale, but you should not assume that every node is in exactly one locale. Okay. So A and B are at the same locale. Uh, well, we've got a locale, so we need a locale for A, we need a locale for B, and we need them to be the same locale. Okay, so there is a locale. So that's an L in the set of nodes, such that L is a locale. And uh, A and B are both in L. Okay, so A is in L. And B is in L. Okay. A and B are at the same locale. I can assume every node is in at most one locale, but I cannot assume that every node is in exactly one locale. So am I assuming that every node is in exactly one locale? What if A weren't in a locale at all? Well, then this would be false and they wouldn't be neighbors, but that's okay. A has to be in a locale for them to be neighbors, so, so neighbors should be false for any node A and any node B if, if A happens to be something that's in no locale. Uh, so that looks okay. So let's move on to the next problem. Now we're making statements. State the following facts in predicate logic. You may, but do not have to, use the extra predicates you were asked to define above. Assume they are correct. Okay. So that just means we can use the predicates and we don't have to have solved the previous problems to be allowed to use them. Friendship is symmetric. That is, two people either have the friend relationship with each other or neither has the friend relationship with the other. Okay. So both or neither is the pattern of an if and only if. So I, I expect to see an if and only if in here somewhere. But let me just go back up and see what the friend relationship is again. Friend, friendship is a relationship type, so that's going to be an edge thing. So we're going to say A has an edge to B if and only if B has an edge to A. We're going to have to quantify A and B later on but you know what let's we know we want to say this part a b and then our short form of friend i'm going to say c c above for short forms again for my friendly marker because this is a new page and who knows if someone else isn't marking this page from the people who marked the previous page okay so there's an edge from a to b of the friendship type if and only if there's an edge from b to a of the friendship type and that means exactly um, this and this or neither this nor this that's what the if and only if relationship means both or neither Okay, so now I've got A and B, they are unquantified as of yet, and this is supposed to be a statement, not a predicate. Um, so, you know, I could make this a predicate if I wanted to. I could say this is symmetry sim AB is defined to be that, and then I just need to say, uh, what do I want to quantify on symmetry? But I I'm not going to do it that way. I'm just going to finish this up as a regular statement. So do I want to say this is true for all nodes, or do I want to say this is true for some nodes, or some combination of that? It says two people either have the friend relationship with each other, or neither has the friend relationship with the other. And it sounds like it's trying to say this is true always. So for all A in the set of nodes, for all B in the set of nodes, if A is friends with B, then B is friends with A, and if A B is friends with A, then A is friends with B. There we go. Every node is a person, business, or location, but not more than one of these. So every node for all nodes n. Uh, n is a person, or n is a business, or n is a location, uh, but not, so and, it is not the case that n is more than one of these things. So n is a person and n is a business. Uh, or n is a person and n is a location or n is a business and n is a location 
Do I need to say or and as a person and a location and a business? Uh, if n were all three, then then actually all of these would be true. So this whole thing would be true already, which would make this part false, and that would make the whole statement false. So I've already handled the case where it's all three things. So every n is one of these, but it's not two of them or three of them. Great. A business owner's friends all like the business. Okay, is this really talking about one business owner or is it talking about every business owner? We usually, when we say like a blanket statement like a business owner's friends all like the business, we're saying that that's true for every business owner. So I need every business owner and I need the business that they own. Uh, I have nodes, I don't have business owners, but I already have my idiom for restricting the domain of nodes to just the business owners. So I'm going to say for all... Uh, I'd like this to be a business owner, let's call it for all O in N. And then I can fill in here in this if, I can make this person a business owner. And I could do that as a separate predicate if I wanted. I could say like B O uh, N is defined to be there is some business in the set of nodes. How do I say it's a business? Well, I say B is a business. And so this is now, there is a business such that owns, how do we say owns? Owns is a relationship type. So we say there's an edge, an ownership edge between them. So I say there's an edge from N to B of the type owns. So this, this already says N is a business owner. Um, so I could just say that, N is a business owner. Okay, so now I've got for all business owners, uh, their friends, goodness, that was strange, that just disappeared. Okay, so for all business owners, their friends all like their business. I don't actually have their business, though, uh, so that's a little frustrating. Um, I'm going to change this predicate so it'll expose the business to me, because I, I really want to get the business. So N is the owner, B is the business, and I'm no longer going to quantify B because now it's part of the parameters of my predicate. So now I've got that um, this means this over here. And now I've got access to both the owner and the business. So I can toss the business in here. I'm going to need to quantify that as well. So now I've got O and B are any pair of nodes such that O is the owner of B. Uh, which is a business. Okay. And all of O's friends like the business. For, so for all nodes... Uh, have I used N? No, not, not, not in this part. This is, this, is, this is an additional definition down here. So for all nodes N, if N is a friend of B's, so again I need to restrict the domain of a universal, so I'm going to use the conditional idiom. So if it's a friend of B's, so if O is friends with B, then, um, oh, I'm sorry, B is the business. I want O to be friends with N. N is the person I'm setting up as the friend. And you know what, I'm just going to call N F, because I've already forgotten what I was trying to do once, so I want to use a better name. F is my friend here. Okay, so for all of my friends of O, F, F likes the business B. So there's an edge from F to the business B of the likes variety. And that should do it. Let me see. For every uh, business owner O uh, and business that they own B, 
all of the friends of O like B. There we go.